<laughs> Holy shit. Um, Ash vs. the Evil Dead. The trailer for the series just came out. It was, I believe it was for the San Diego Comic-Con, the trailer they released. And of course, I had to dress up like Bruce Campbell from Evil Dead. You know, put a lot of work into the suit, whatever. But yeah, I'm, I'm fucking excited for this. I, Dude, when I saw the trailer, I damn near lost bowel control and shit my pants. I mean, the thing just blew my fucking balls off. It's so awesome to see Bruce Campbell back playing the part that made him famous. Maybe it didn't make him famous to begin with, but he was in those movies he's most known for, Evil Dead. He's done other things, Xena Warrior, Princess, Hercules, uh, Briscoe County Jr., all those other shows. He was, he was in a lot of different sci-fi television shows for the sci-fi channel, sci-fi movies. But honestly, there's just everybody's been wanting to see him come back and play Ash uh, for a long time. We got the remake with the, the female lead, and that was actually a pretty good movie too, but it's just, it just doesn't hold a cigar to any of Bruce Campbell's Evil Dead movies. There's a lot of cool shit in the trailer. Of course, they have to make jabs at him being old with him putting the girdle on and everything. But we get, we get Lucy Lawless, who was Xena. I think she's going to be awesome in the show. We get his we get the other co-stars, too, that are going to help him out along his way. But it, looking at it, they, of course they gave him his classic blue shirt, tan pants, the chainsaw, the belts. The whole nine yards. It looks, honestly, like a natural continuation from the show. Or from the second movie, I should say. Not, not show. From what I read, too, this is going to be kind of like an alternate timeline from Evil Dead 2. It's not going to follow Army of Darkness, which kind of sucks. But on the other hand, I can understand why they're taking that route. Because Army of Darkness is... I don't, I don't want to say odd, but it doesn't... It's hard to follow up to that. Maybe it wouldn't have been. I don't know. But they're going off of Evil Dead 2. But it's cool to see... Uh, Parts from the old movies when he's having the flashback and stuff about his friends dying in the cabin. and it was, It's just cool to see him continuing this part and this story and everything looks very much like Evil Dead. You got the Deadites, of course. They, they look just like, you know, Deadites from any one of the other films. Like Army of Darkness Deadites is what they look like. So the makeup's all awesome, the action. You got, of course, you got... Ash doing his cheesy one-liners. There's cheesy action effects. There's a scene with him lunging towards his chainsaw. The chainsaw's flying through the air. It, was, it looked like mediocre CG, but it's... The Evil Dead movies, if they're known for anything, it's being extremely, you know, low-budget and cheesy, so it's, like, almost excusable. But, yeah, I just... What else is there to say? It's fucking awesome that he's back. I almost want to just stop paying my student loans so I can get a cable connection and watch this. <laughs> that ain't going to happen, though, because I don't want to get sued again. Because I I don't, yeah, I could be in a lot of trouble if I don't pay them. But I will be purchasing this on DVD when it comes out. Or maybe try to make an effort to go to a friend's house and watch it or something. But any of you out there that are interested, if you haven't seen the old Evil Dead movies, go out and watch them. They're good fun. I mean, they're, it's not like they're terrifying movies. When I was a kid, I was a little bit scared of them because some of the stuff in the first one is pretty rough. <laughs> a lot of blood, a lot of gore. Demons with white eyes is just really creepy. But um, watching them nowadays, it's almost like comical. Evil, the first Evil Dead was serious. Very Played very much on uh, a horror movie, not so much horror or uh, humor or slapstick humor evil dead 2 dead by dawn threw a lot of slapsticky type humor in it was less of a horror movie more of a horror comedy army of darkness was almost like it had elements from evil dead 2 where it was slightly humorous but it was a really really very much almost like a comic book type movie and it really helped establish bruce campbell's ash character is just like awesome badass even further than the second movie did you know what bruce campbell even did his part in the evil dead video games there was hail to the king on playstation 
Fistful of Boomstick on PlayStation 2, and I believe Evil Dead Regeneration for PlayStation 2 and Xbox. All of them are really great games, except for the first one on PlayStation, which was unbearably fucking hard. I never beat the game without cheating. That's a good idea. I should review the Evil Dead games eventually on Game On. But anyway, that's all I have to say. Really fucking excited. Of, of course I'm excited. I'm like slurring my words and shit over the trailer and stuff. But gotta love Bruce Campbell. I can't help but feel like I wish that... I wish there was some way I could have had a part in this show because I've loved Evil Dead since I was 18. When I wanted to be an actor, I would... I looked to the Evil Dead movies and I would practice all of Bruce Campbell's mannerisms and facial expressions in front of a mirror when I was younger at my parents' house. Like, I really fucking wanted to be Bruce Campbell. I thought he was, like, one of the best actors in the whole world. Of course, his acting is cheesy at times, but... I, I thought it was awesome. But I'm just going to conclude this now before I ramble on anymore and bore any any more of you people. Ash vs. Evil Dead, I'm fucking excited. Cannot wait. Probably one of the best things to happen to television or movies in ages. I'm really excited to see Bruce Campbell back. Hopefully you all are too if you're Evil Dead fans. Hill to the King, baby.